two wins in a row, broke the four game streak. Yeah. Like there's some pressure relieved from uh, from winning games again. What's the feeling on the team? Right now? Yeah, I I think it's just good for us to see that we've won a few games. It brings a little spirit and life back to the team. I mean, losing just sucks, and every single one of these dudes is just as competitive as the other. And so collectively as a group, it's just not great, I think, mentally for all of us to lose. And so it was a really good weekend. Really glad we got those games. Uh, we had to grit them out, find a way to win, but we ended up winning. And so hopefully we just build off that. What does it say about this group, Caleb, to be down 17, season's kind of on the line, and you guys dig in and, and sweep that, uh, that weekend? Um, I think just the commitment that everyone has to each other. Uh, we, I know we talked about it, but a lot of times when teams get down like that, guys start kind of going off on a tangent and trying to make plays for themselves. But I think consistently throughout the whole game, every single guy just wanted to make a play for a teammate. And we just kept chipping and chipping and chipping and finally we got back into it and won that game. This game against uh, San Mary's, um, there, there are some prognosticators, prognosticators that would say, if you guys win this game, your tournament resume would be like solid. Yeah. Obviously, it's not the end of the world if you lose, but mm. are you thinking about that, like the implications of a win? How much is that on your mind? I mean, I think in the back of everyone's mind, yeah, they're thinking about that. But I think if we just go into the game and do what we've kind of been doing and just fight like we do, uh, the game of basketball will take care of itself. And I think, especially right now with all the noise that we have, and I think sometimes we just got to push that out and just play, have fun, play for each other, um, fight together as a team, and let the outcome kind of take care of itself. But we're super excited to play this game. We understand it's an unbelievable opportunity. So we're just hoping to take advantage of it. If things can't go, what's the challenge there? Um, I just think depth. And Foose is an incredible basketball player. And that means I'll be playing a little bit more five. And we'll have to kind of shift probably Seneca up a little bit more to the four in that uh, small forward spot. But. Again, at the end of the day, I just don't think it matters. I mean, it does matter. Of course, we want all of our guys, but we've been dealing with this all season. And so, yeah, without Foose, it really, really hurts us. But at the end of the day, we just got to find a way to win with what we have. Obviously, you've kind of shifted around the court, different spots, three, four, five throughout the year. Yeah. Just talk about maybe what you've learned from that and that experience from maybe not having a set role throughout the season, but kind of filling in where necessary. I think just staying ready and understanding that everything I do is just going to help the team. And at the end of the day, that is my goal. I just want to help each and every one of these guys and help the team and just find a way to win, bring some life to this team, some energy and some fight, and be a leader. Coach talked about after Gonzaga, um, kind of going through a reinvention process for the team. Obviously, two wins in a row now, big game with St. Mary's coming out. How, where do you think that reinvention process is right now? What do you think that looks like? Um, I would just say just a lot of fine tuning and continuing every day just to get better and better and better and focusing on the details and how we can get better collectively, individually, things that we can do and hold each other accountable for. Um, but I think the team in this little area has a lot of teams I think would start to pull apart, but I think we're coming closer together and, um, and you can kind of see it. There's a little bit more life and guys are having a little bit more fun. So again, I just think that the trust that everyone has in each other right now and the trust we have in our coaches, because at the end of the day, we all just want to win. And so if we can figure out a way to win and do it with the guys that we have, that's what we're going to do. When you guys are going through that four game losing streak, was that trust difficult to kind of like understand that it's there? And was there any, or were there any cracks in that trust that had to be like rebuilt? Um, I, think, I think anyone's going to tell you the same thing. I think partially yes, but it just shows every single guy was willing to fight through that. And yeah, you lose some games, there's going to be questions and there's going to be some doubts, I think, just naturally, no matter who you are. But as a group, I think we responded pretty well. Um, we had a, that was a big weekend for us. And we just got to keep building off it and keep going, keep fighting together as a team, keep trusting in each other. This late in the year, um, to have a, only one game and not this week could be valuable to, to maybe recover a little bit. How are you doing in terms of your health and, and things like that, just how you feel physically? Um, <laughs> I think everyone's beat up, and I'm going to tell you that I feel fine, but I don't know if that's entirely true. Everyone's a little bumped and bruised, but it's part of the game, and we just got to find a way to fight through it. Will, how valuable will this be, though, to only have 
I just wanted to maybe get a little bit of rest maybe we get ready for it. I think it will help us a little bit. Uh, just to give us kind of a, a little bit of extra time to let our bodies heal. And just so we're ready to give 100% on Saturday. St. Mary's is a super physical team, and we're just going to need everybody healthy in order to win that game. I remember the last time we, we spoke to you in this setting, it was on the heels of the St. Mary's game, and, and noted that those St. Mary's games are always just kind of a, a weird flow a little bit. Yeah. Are you kind of expecting the same thing again this time around? I think so. Those games are always – it's just a different style of play and super physical and tough. And at the end of the day, I just think the, the tougher team, the team that plays more together is going to come out on top.